Welcome back to the Olmstead Workshop. Today we're going to be working on a small gift that can be created by any skill level. Let's get after it. Since this piece is going to have integrated handles, I decided to make it 18 inches wide. Looking through my scrap pile, I found a lovely piece of four quarter walnut that would fit the bill perfectly. Since this piece still had one raw side, I took it over to the table saw and ripped it to 8 inches wide, keeping the square side against the fence. Using my Inkrit Tiny T, I measured in 1 inch from each side and top and bottom, and then measured 2 inches in from the side to mark out where my grooves were going to be cut. Moving over to the drill press, I used a 1 inch Forstner bit to drill out the top and bottom holes of each groove. This would give me a good starting and stopping point to use the jigsaw later. With the speed square clamped firmly in place, I used it as an edge guide for my jigsaw to cut out the slot that is going to be the handles. I then cleaned this cut up with the sandpaper off camera. Moving over to the router table, I applied a quarter inch roundover to all the sides of this board. That way it's got a nice, smooth feel in the hand. I then sanded the board up to 220 grit using water to raise the grain for the final pass. This helps ensure that the wood is just very smooth to the touch. I then pre-drilled and installed rubberized feet, however these would be removed prior to oiling. Now that this project was in its final steps, it was time to apply my brand, which is a Gearheart Industries torch heated brand. I then applied mineral oil to the board, making sure to give it plenty of time to soak in between coats. I always love that first coat of oil because that really gives you a preview of how the final project's going to look when it's finished. With the oil fully soaked in, it was time to apply the butcher block conditioning wax. This will let the water repel from the surface, and it's also a very good food safe finish. It's implied in multiple coats, buffing in between to really get that waxy shine. Once the wax was fully finished, this project was done. So once again, thanks for stopping by the Olmstead Workshop. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content, and we'll see you next time.